Okay, in this section we're going to have a look at if statement that tests two variables. Let's say we've got the following scenario. We've got some or another code and a price and those two together gives me the discount percentage to use. So if the code is A and the price would be less than a thousand I need to award 5% discount if the code is A and the price is B or equal to a thousand the discount is 8% for the code of B and different prices these different discounts and all code C prices then carry a 3% discount let's go have a look at this program statement Okay, so let's first of all go right down the steps of the program. Something like to clear the variables. I need to get the code and the price from the user. I need to determine the discount percentage. Then calculate the discount amount and calculate the final price. So these would most probably be my variables that I need to declare. Code, price, discount percentage, discount amount, and final price. That's not all that we're going to need. In order to write a good program we very often need to define a few constant values. And for um, the given discount values I would have defined the following constants percentage for A low, percentage for A high, percentage for B low, B high and percentage for code C. Next we'll need to get the data from the user interface controls. I'm for simplicity just going to assign 1500 to the price and A to the code. Take note of how VB um, uses a character that C that I've got over here specifies character. Okay, so now if I go have a look at the if statement, really the best if statement that you can write is one outside if to test for one variable. So let's say the code. If that's an A, otherwise we want to test if the code might be a B, otherwise we might like to test if the code is a C. They didn't ask us to make provision for anything else. If I had to go and make provision for any other code, for example, I could have had an else there. So now, if the code is an A, I want to test the price. So I want to test now if the price is less than a thousand. Press enter so that my if statement that goes inside to test for the price is uh, on its own. And I've got two prices, either the price is less than a thousand or bigger than, so I can just use a dangling else. And my discount my percentage can now be assigned. So discount percentage. If it's A and the code is less than, then it would be the percentage for A low. Have a look how nice the names help me. Otherwise, I'd like to have the high percentage assigned. 
and in much the same way I can now be a little bit lazy and say I've got a B I need to test for 500 Rand less than 500 or bigger than and I'm going to assign either B low or B high if the code is C my discount percentage would be percentage for C only okay this is the optimal if statement to use I've got one if statement on the outside to test the code and if there's a code that might give me different percentages another if statement for that take note please when we deal with user input we're normally going to convert this input to an uppercase so that I can only test for uppercase A because uppercase and lowercase are different characters to a computer I'd be able to continue with my program now calculate the discount amount we are going to include calculations like this always after the if statement so that would be the price times the discount percentage and I can then go and calculate my final price price and I'm going to subtract the discount amount and next I can display to the user I say and this concludes then this section I am going to discuss um, a different version of this if statement in the next topic. Thank you.